Hey guys, check it out. Today we're going to be looking at the Kinesis Advantage 2. Turns out the name of the company is actually Kinesis. Kinesis. Sorry, got that wrong. I incorrectly name this company several times throughout the video, and I'd just like to apologize for that. It is, in fact, Kinesis. This is the brand new Advantage 2. This, not only is the shipping box, but this is the box that the keyboard comes in. So you'll have to forgive me. We're trying to get into it like this. First thing out of the box is the wrist rests. Turns out these are actually called palm rests. Here's the quick start guide. We'll put that off to the side. Here's a couple extra keycaps for keycap remapping. Actually, those keycaps are for Mac or PC modes. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Wow, this is a pretty special keyboard. Okay, let's let's start talking about it. First things, first things first. This is a Kinesis's flagship keyboard. Uh, essentially, the Advantage has since 2002 basically been the keyboard associated with Kinesis. This is the updated, upgraded, brand new Advantage 2. And I want to say, first of all, thank you very much to Kinesis for sending me this sample board. The Advantage 2 has a lot of really cool features that I think you guys are going to be definitely interested to hear about. Lots of, lots of interesting bits, lots of interesting quirks too, but let's just dive straight in. First of all, this keyboard, well, it's special. It's not like everybody else. So before we get too far, let's just talk about it because I don't want it to become an elephant in the room. Let's just say exactly what this is. This is a very expensive ergonomic keyboard that's for the person who wants that specialist thing. There's two groups basically we can talk about here. The people who need an ergonomic keyboard and the people who want the best in ergonomic keyboards. Now, if you need an ergonomic keyboard, this is going to definitely be right at the top of your list. It uses Cherry MX mechanical keyboard switches. Uh, this one in particular, I've asked for uh, Cherry MX Reds. And I can tell you they are reds. The other option that these are available in is Cherry MX Brown, which has a slight tactile feel to it. But it's a little bit tricky and fussy. It's not quite like an everyday average keyboard. One of the places I noticed this board, especially when I was discovering about mechanical keyboards, was during the film Indie Gamer. You know, Indie Gamer was showing how these guys go through and make their own games and how much time they spend coding and if they don't make the deadline just exactly what that's go going to cost them. So one of the guys in this film was using a keyboard a lot like this and it, it just made me realize the importance of comfort and the importance of the premium nature that this board has. Now one of the first things that people are going to say about this keyboard is the linear and unusual layout of the keys and key spacing. For example, instead of enter being on your left pinky where you would normally expect it, or backspace being in the top corner, instead those things are moved down here to our thumb places. You can see here, space, enter, delete, and backspace are all moved to your thumbs. That'll work for most of the time, I think, for me, but I'll probably have to get used to the enter and backspace, their locations. This space button seems pretty natural to me already. I'm not just going to be able to pick this up and quickly start typing. Uh, it's going to take me a while in order to get used to the construct of where the keys are placed. There's a 60-day money-back guarantee with this keyboard, so you have a chance to try it out, make sure that you can get comfortable with it, and there's still time to send it back if you really don't get along with it. So I'm not going to do a typing test for you. That really would waste your time. And mine. This is a board that you kind of need to commit to, and if you're going to buy one, you're going to want to spend some time with it before you say, oh, I can or can't type faster with this. And that's why the 60-day money-back guarantee works so well. And a lot of people have said that their typing speeds have improved dramatically in less than 60 days. Let's just talk for a minute about the shape of it. Here's a side look at the keyboard. So you can see it's got this very scooped look to it. I'm told these are actually called concave key wells. Fancy name. I, I just want to... If I show you, I know it's unnatural because of the way I'm putting my hand, but that's, that's the position your hand will sit in. 
So it's, it's very relaxed. And I, I have quite small hands. Not very small hands. Not Donald Trump small, but, you know, small hands. And uh, this is still very comfortable for me. Okay, let's start talking about the tech and the specs of the Advantage 2. There's a lot of quirks with this board. One of the first quirks is about the keycaps. It's hard to really talk about this, this keyboard without saying the keycaps are highly unusual and not necessarily what you'd expect when you first start talking about quality. These keycaps are ABS keycaps. They're ABS, they're thin plastic, and you can see they're, they're pad printed. There's a, there's like a raised number six on this key with the printing on it. But you can see, given the profile of these keys, that they've needed to make adjustments in the typical DCS. They've needed to make adjustments and modifications so that you're using something different. Now, on the blue keys, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, colon, semicolon, these keys are actually DSA profile. So we're mixing profiles here and it makes this extremely difficult to get a custom keycap set for. But that's not why people buy it. People don't buy this keyboard to change the keycaps. They buy it for this comfortable position. They buy it for the way your hands naturally rest on this. The first thing to say is this is a fully programmable keyboard. Now, in the past, the Advantage was an onboard programmable keyboard, but this one takes it to a whole new level. I'll get more into that in a follow-up video, but let's just say this keyboard is fully programmable. You can do custom layouts, multiple layers, key remaps, macros, sharing layouts, firmware updates, adjustable macro playbacks, onboard Dvorak, hotkey layout. There's a lot that you can do with this board. Another upgrade from the Advantage is these top row switches are no longer those uncomfortable rubber domes. They've now been replaced with Cherry MLs. So that's a very nice switch. However, the keycaps are not replaceable up here. Still, it's much better than the previous versions. I was really wondering how they did this. Each column has been given its own plate. But that looks like a, that looks like a plastic plate under there. Much like the earlier version, the version 1 of the Advantage, under the thumb we have PCB mount, and under the fingers we have plate mount. Now that plate looks plastic, it's difficult to tell at this point. I'll try to give that a closer look in the follow-up video. Just slipping it over to the other side here, we have a USB cable that comes out of the middle, and there's also an RJ11 it looks like. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. Why don't I take a quick look? The RJ11 is actually for connecting a foot pedal, uh, which isn't included as part of this video. Now you might have noticed that there's no number pad over here. For those of you new to mechanical keyboards, this layout would be called a TKL. And the reason it's a TKL is it's 10 keyless. It lacks the number cluster over to the side. Now they've included the number cluster in as a subset. You can see here, four, five, six, one, two, three, 7, 8, 9. You can see that they've included still the ability to use this as a, as a numpad for that sort of data entry. The numpad you can turn on with just one button press on that top row. But data entry isn't something that I do a lot of, so I'm not particularly worried about that function. My first impressions are that this is a much lighter keyboard than I thought it would be. I thought because of the size of it that this was going to be really heavy. I'm just going to grab the scale. So it's ringing in at uh, 2.26 pounds, 981 grams, 980 grams. Now I know a lot of people who will be watching this video for the first time will be here because they're interested in the Advantage 2 and the ergonomics of this keyboard and be asking whether or not they should buy it. In terms of mechanical keyboards, the Advantage 2 is a very unique position within the mechanical keyboard community. This keyboard is designed primarily to be ergonomic and to be used in sustained keyboard or sustained computer usage. If you're going to sit down in front of a computer for 10 or 12 hours, that's really the world that this lives in for the people who don't need it. For the people who do need it, you're going to need it and you're going to be buying this anyways. Now, since making this video, I've spoken to the guys at Kinesis and they said 
that it's also about preventing RSI. And that's something that I didn't really touch on in my video, but I wanted to mention. My initial impression is that I don't really need the pads on here. It's, it's quite a comfortable keyboard straight off. How would you do that? So let's say I wanted to control C and then control V. Yeah, I suppose. It's definitely an unusual feeling compared to what I've had before. But again, don't let that put you off because it's just something you have to adjust to, just in the same way that you would have to adjust to a mechanical keyboard the first time you used it. And now I'm sure, like me, your, your speed has improved vastly. Let's just do a quick tail of the tape. We've got 16 and a quarter inches, or 41 centimeters. Got an approximate length here of around 8 inches, or 20 centimeters. And a total maximum height of, of around 3 inches. This is big, but don't forget you won't need a wrist rest with this, it already comes included. Now the real advantage of the Advantage, or rather the real advantage of the Advantage 2, is programmability. And the way that you start to program is up with this row here. Now, we're going to save that for the next video. If that video has already been released, you can find that here. If it hasn't been released, please subscribe. Even if it has been released and you haven't subscribed, please do so now. So just some concluding thoughts here. If you want to buy a mechanical keyboard because you want to get into the customization game, this probably isn't the right keyboard for you. If you've been looking at the Ergo Docs or other ortholinear keyboards, something that includes a, you know, separating your hands or flat keyboards, maybe even the, the dactyl keyboard, you know, this is going to be the best of that set. What it isn't going to be is an easy to use gamer keyboard that provides the customization that probably a lot of people in the community, the mechanical keyboard community, are after. That's not to say you won't be blown away by this keyboard, but that's not what this keyboard is really designed for. With the selection of just two types of switches, the inability to remove the keycaps, and the layout that's going to take some adjustment, this is a very particularized keyboard. The type of person who would need this keyboard, probably watching this review and saying, like, why has he gone on for so long about it? I, I need this so that my wrists rest like this and I can operate the keyboard for 10 or 12 hours at a time. Totally, totally, totally. But what a review for this keyboard shouldn't be is talking about the unusual layout or how it slows your typing down or how weird it is or how expensive it is. Because those things all go to the side when you get a keyboard that's comfortable to use and that you can use over a sustained amount of time. That's really what this keyboard is made for. That's really what it's trying to do and what it's trying to be. And insofar as it's trying to do that, it does it very, very, very well. I like the upgrades that they've made over the Advantage. I can't imagine any reason that somebody would choose the Advantage over the Advantage 2 and the original advantage has been discontinued to make way for this new model. Uh, the full programmability mode, which we'll cover in the next video, will of course go into that in more detail. If you guys have any comments or questions about this keyboard or anything that the Advantage 2 does or doesn't do, please ask in the comment section below. If you'd like more details or more information on the Kinesis Advantage 2, Kinesis, Kinesis, please check out the About section. If you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a coffee. That helps support this channel. Or if you'd like to commit on a longer term basis, we offer Patreon, which is a great way for you guys to let me know that you appreciate videos like this. Thanks again for watching. 